Oh, sorry about the wind noise. Um, it's a windy day. I can't help that. Um, cast your mind back two years, and I was here at this very spot grafting some uh, apple trees. You can see there's a graft there, it's a saddle graft. Queen Cox was the variety, and uh, that's what it's grown away to. Fruit bud there. If you want to plant this out as a cordon, it'd do very well. So uh, that's what these trees have grown to in uh, two years, and now they're going on to the next stage in their destiny. We're going to plant them out. Been digging some up. Here's uh, uh, these late scratch plate labels. A bit of spit out to uh, you can see. They're quite durable. Uh, five trees in there. One here. Here's a nice one. This is a beauty. This is what we call a well feathered maiden, and this is two years old. Buy a tree like to buy a tree like this in the garden centre uh, would set you back in the region of twenty-five pounds. Uh, even if you were uh, were to get this from, um, say, a uh, I was going to say Scots of Merit, but you won't get any from them because they closed down permanently last year. But if you get this from, say, Blackmore Nurseries, you'd probably pay about uh, fifteen pounds for it. And by the way, um, this is of some interest. Here's the root. I've, I've dug this up because it's going to be transplanted today. And what have we got here? We've got a little stock going up from the root. And I'm going to show you this because it's quite interesting. Okay, here is the root stock. Here's the graft union. Uh, just with my thumb, that's a graft union. And springing up from down here, look, coming up from the roots, is this little chap. Just going to get my secateurs, which are uh, just over here. Uh, while I'm working here, Julia is uh, digging the holes that these trees are going to go into. We're planting out six of these today, two years from when I grafted them. And uh, by the way, here's one I grafted yesterday. Or was it the day before yesterday? A little saddle graft, a variety called Best Pool, a rare variety that a friend sent me a pencil of through the post. And there's another. So if these do as well as the Queen Coxes do that I grafted two years ago, two years from now we might be planting them out. But, and here's one for the economist, the economizer, growing up from the roots of this uh, young apple tree, is this little chap. I'm just going to go down there, clip, and we have a rootstock. Okay, see, so a rooted uh, shoot has come up from below, and uh, if I stick this back in the ground, okay, I'm not going to put this very carefully. You know, I've got other things to do, and I only uh, took two hands, but. See what I'm doing here. I'm not saying this is the most brilliant way of planting one out. It's a one-handed job, but that's a pretty good chance that'll do okay. All right, so I planted that, and uh, there's a very good chance that this rootstock will grow away successfully, having been propagated. That, that'll be this will grow true to uh, you know Mallingmerton 106 rootstock, which is what it came from. Uh, so just, just to show you, and it's uh, the 14th of uh, April today, you can plant trees, that we're planting some trees out today, you can plant your trees any time from when the leaves fall in uh, November to when they start growing again, round about now. Um, some people say leave it to the last minute, that's the best thing, you're planting into a warming soil. Other people say plant it as soon as the leaves drop and uh, then the roots will make some new establishment before the winter closes in. People argue about this and have differences of opinion. The truth is you can plant your apple or fr other fruit trees uh, any time from leaf fall, which down our way is sort of middle of November, to when the leaves start to come again, which is sometime in April. But you can't really leave it much later than the middle of April.